Togo is a country situated in the West African region. The official language is French, while the dominant indigenous language used in the educational system is Ewe. The literacy level is about 52%, while the economic growth lies behind population growth because of corruption. One of the major challenges is the need among children, which is largely not addressed. The young people are on the loose without hope. 50% of the population are under the age of 15 years. There is significant evil trade in children who are exported to other lands for the sex industry. This has led to a high rate of HIV AIDS. The country is one of the poorest in the world. And this fact has really affected families in sending their children to schools. Full Statue of Nations International, FMI, a submissions organization, is a group in Lome, capital city of Togo, with a special ministry to children. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without form and void. So years ago, FMI established Hope Recovery Project to reach the children and youth in poor conditions. The project seeks to provide a living hope for the young people with big dreams. Hope Recovery Project has touched many lives. Judith was sent out of school because her parents could no longer meet her educational needs. As a result, Judith ends up on the street. One day, the missionary found us on the street. That was how our story changed. A new day dawned for Judith. It was at the Hope Recovery Project that Judith accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. The generous donations and support of Destiny International Christian Assembly has helped rescue Judith from the street and also helped meet her educational as well as her daily nutritional needs. My name is Ivy. I'm the mother of Judith. I thank God for the life of Sister Janet. When she met with us, that is when things changed in our life. When she came to see my children, they were not going to school because they were sent out of school. But now, they are now back to school. They don't need to feel hungry now. Now they are dressing fine. She's taking care of all of them. I thank God for her life. I pray that God should bless her. Sister Janice Rufus is the FMI missionary overseeing Togo Mission's work. She's also the Hope Recovery Project's leader. She's happy and excited today seeing the seeds sown in tears yielding fruit. <laughs> Time will tell on the kind of investment and impact we are making on lives and destiny. A very big thank you to Destiny International Christian Assembly for their timely support over the years. Do you also like to partner with us in putting smiles on the faces of thousands of vulnerable young people? For inquiries, please contact Full Statue of Missions International for Parliament Highway by Federal INEC Office Secretary at Ibadan. You can also write us via email fmi at fullstature.net or visit our website at www.fullstature.net Contact number plus 234-802-333-9638 
God bless you abundantly as you decide to partner with us.